I told myself, you were the person to take him out on his very first trail ride ever, and you weren't afraid. So that probably was the most nerve-wracking ride we've had. Yeah. So how we got from that to being terrified doesn't make a whole lot of sense well, to me. Well, he did a few. He did a few serious moves that right. scared you to death, and that's how it happened. But I've ridden more horses and yeah. got on them the next day. So that's yeah. why I think but you're right. But don't forget, I you've also him. gotten really hurt. Yeah. That's another thing that happened yeah. to you, is yeah. you got hurt, and that made you more afraid when he did naughty things. Yeah. And I, th I think you should bear that in mind, because it's still a possibility that you could get hurt. Absolutely. So so you, you've you got to be careful, him. and you got to go step by step, and not try and do more than both of you are ready for. Right. And, that's and you have to be the one to make those decisions. He's not. So right. you have to be vigilant about that. And you have to not get carried away and try and do more than he's ready for. Well, I know that sometimes you had said two 20-minute sessions a day are ideal. Yes. So sometimes we come out here and we do a little bit in here and then we do a 10-minute loop. Yeah. So all together it's about 20 minutes. Yeah, perfect. When he comes in for dinner later on, we come out here and I just want him and do some bending stuff with him on the ground. And then I am there. Perfect. So that it's not that everything I do with him, I'm always on his back. Right. So Very good. Yeah. I figured that'll also I help. think the groundwork is so important. Okay. Yeah. okay.